In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create five circular options infographic slide in PowerPoint. And this is how the slide looks when I click the first option comes. You can see the option five with the shadow effect. Then you can add the title and the detailed text. And when I click, it comes the option four, then the option three, two, and the last option one. And it looks like a, a complete oval shape now. So depending on this one, your requirement, you can just change the color and uh, just edit the text here. And I have made one more uh, slide with some different color combinations. So depending on your requirement, you can choose the slide from. And this slide is without animation. And if you have not subscribed to my channel PowerPoint University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes from the basic shapes i'm going to select the old shape draw the old shape by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect circular shape maybe this much shape i'm going to keep it or you can increase or decrease uh, depending on your requirement then shape outline make it no outline now the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to cut this into four or five parts so for that go to insert shapes i'm going to add oval shape again so first oval shape i'm just going to add which is uh like this you can see here let me just change this uh, color so that you know exactly what i'm trying to do let me just give some different color and i'm just going to make it uh, more transparent something like this all right so you can see here the first layer which i'm going to cut is this one okay so then I want to cut like i said three or four layers so first of all i'm going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and i'm just going to give a gap here so you can see this is my second layer press ctrl d move this up so this is my third layer if i want i can just change the color so that you know okay this is my third and then i'm going to add one more press ctrl d maybe i can just change the color to some other color to differentiate and then i'm just going to do like this so let me just select these shapes and increase the transparency further so something like this you can see here it looks something like this so this is my first second third fourth and fifth so now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to select uh, i'm going to press ctrl a so that it selects all and then you have to go to the format shape and merge shapes i'm just going to make it a fragment okay just click on the fragment then what happens here so this one two three four and five i'll just hold the shift key and i'm just moving this here okay just i have made it this shape let me just remove the transparency okay and then I can just choose and give some different color combination. You can see here, I've just created some different com color combinations. So depending on your requirement, you can just choose any color combination. All right, so it looks something like this. So I just want to delete all the unwanted shapes. So I can just zoom out and then I'm just going to select this, press delete button then again select all and bring it into the center all right let me just all right then what i'm going to do is i'm going to select all and then i want to give a shadow effect so for not for the top one two three and four so what i'm going to do is go to the effects shadow and i'm going to select the offset top all right and if you want you can increase the distance also you can see something like this so this is just a temporary colors i have given now depending on your uh, choice you can just change the color example if you want to give a gradient fill i can just simply select the gradient fill here i need only two stops for example so here one stop i want to make it kind of a light blue and a somewhat dark blue color combination you can see here let me just give something like this maybe for this i can select the radial if you want you can make it from center also all right 
and again for this also you can just choose any color of your choice again you can go to more colors you can see here maybe i'm going to choose this color or i have to just select first of all the gradient and then here i'm just going to choose some lighter color and some darker color all right so something like this so uh, like this you just need to choose any color of your choice so let me just choose some other color now maybe a light color here and the darker color at the outside something like this okay so for this again i'm going to choose maybe some green color or this color teal color and here i'm going to choose more darker teal all right so like this and the same color i want to use it so let me just choose the same color here so you can see here our uh, design is okay so what we need to do is uh, i have just i need to select this and then bring to front so that the shadow effect will be visible if you want you can increase the distance also and again i'm going to select the third one again bring to front fourth bring to front and then the last bring to front all right again here i think i have not selected the let me just select and if you want you can increase also so once the size is okay you have uh, broken down into five pieces i'm going to group this and then i'm going to tilt a little bit something like this all right a little less something like this and then let me just move this aside here because this area we are going to add the detailed text and then here you can just add some shadow effects so for that i'm going to choose some oval shape okay and then shape outline make it no outline shape fill make it black increase the transparency level go to the effects soft adjust increase the size you can see here something like this and then i'm just going to send this to back so you can see here let me just move it up yeah so our circle design is ready now it's time to add the text so let me just go to insert text box and i'm just going to type 0 1 here center align make it bold if you want increase the size and i'm just going to place it here one and if you want you can just change the font color to white press ctrl d so this is the second third fourth and fifth and then we can just align it properly and then let me just put this as five this is four this is three this is two okay so just we need to align it properly all right and then here go to insert text box you can just add your title again make it bold and then you can just add the detailed text i'm just going to say equals lorem and then some lengthier text i'm going to delete it reduce the size maybe i'm going to give some gray color and then just add it here all right then i'm going to group this press ctrl d to duplicate and then just add it for each options okay you can see here so this is the option number three ctrl d this is for the option four and then this is for the option five so depending on your requirement you can just align it and change the color and then once this is done you can just simply add some animation effect to it.